Uh, and back here live at the Omni Hotel, Nashville, Tennessee, Music City is the best. I tell you what, the city's treated us well this week, as well as our sponsors, Bagtail Whiskey, our friends at Honky Tonk, Texas, and Gentle Ben Spirits. There's a little scroll at the bottom of the screen there. Check them out and uh, get the products. We'd love to drink here on the show. And it's about damn time we do that too as well because I've had a lot of whiskey since yes, I've been in this city. Sir. For the first couple of days, my voice is coming back around. <laughs> a little allergies from Texas all the way to Nashville. Yep. Boys from Neon Union, what's going on? What's hey, happening, man? Yeah, good to see you guys. Yeah, well. I saw that billboard having... in the lobby out there. Oh. I said, they've been playing. They get ready to get down. This one too. How's CRS treated y'all so far? Oh, good, great, man. Great, all, great. You know, getting to see all the people you know from all over the country is always fun. So everybody in one place, man. It's fun. <laughs> I see a country music yeah, biggest stage. No doubt. Right. Love it. Let's talk about how you guys met and formed this duo. Absolutely. Yeah, I met a guy named Jimmy Allen on an elevator in downtown Nashville uh, right before I moved to town and ran into him again about six months later playing a writer's round. And uh, he was like, dang, man, I like what you're doing. Uh, called me about two weeks later. You ever thought about being in a duo? I'm like, no, but what you got in mind? And then he introduced me to Leo. Yeah, I met Jimmy in Miami. He was uh, recording with an artist, Pitbull. So, yeah. <laughs> I worked with Pitbull playing the bass guitar and the music director. And I was that guy in the back of the bus listening to George Jones. <laughs> yeah. Don't let him fool you. He's also got two Grammys with Pitbull. So. Hey, you know what, hey. He's not just a bass player. <laughs> I love it. Oh, man. Musical backgrounds. Talk about yeah. growing up as far as the music, musicality, what you guys were listening to. Because I always tell people, you necessarily have to be, you know, Americana or country music or rock country. But you've got different blends, different backgrounds of what you guys grew up on. Yeah. I smell I started off on, on classic country because the island where my family is from is called Rotan Town, Honduras. Mm -hmm. That island, the biggest thing is classic country, reggae, and calypso. So, grew up a lot of George Jones, yeah, Keith Whitley, yeah. Conway Twitty, all the, all the classics. Yeah. And then when I got to middle school, I got into more rock and alternative. And, and then when I got to high school, I got a little more into R&B stuff. That's how I landed uh, a gig with uh, Lauren Hill mm -hmm. after that, yeah. right after I graduated high school. Then after... Touring with her, then I, I started touring with Pitbull. And then from Pitbull, he encouraged me to be an artist. He's yeah. back to his roots. Back, back to, to his roots. Back, yeah. back, back from the beginning. And I'm from I'm from the Mayberry, North Carolina. Mm -hmm. So uh, right. Pilot Mountain, Mount Pilot Mayberry, the Andy Griffith Show. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, so no secret that I grew up on country music. I got into the rock and roll stuff in middle school, just like Leo did. And then... Uh, all tastes of music. I might have even yeah. I might have even rapped a little bit. In high That's school, right. You know? What was the name again? ASAP. <laughs> Andrew <laughs> Millsap. Man, I was ASAP before anybody. Trust me. There's too many ASAPs now. Uh, but yeah, I, you know, I, I grew up on all the country music stuff. Some of my favorites were Alan Jackson and Hank Jr. And uh, you know, just really wanted to do country music from a young age. So let's talk about singles. I'm gonna go with the one right now. Uh, about damn time. How it came together. Great sound. Great. Just everything y'all put on it to instrumentation, studio work, mix master, and everything y'all wanted. I'm sure came out the right way. How did the song come about? Man, it's, it's an awesome song. Uh, Hardy, Tyler Hubbard, Jordan Schmidt, Hunter Phelps, so some of the best writers in town. Uh, we write a lot of songs, but the first time we heard that song, we're like, this is a great way for us to kick down the door exactly. and introduce ourselves. Something different. It's a party. It feels good. It's upbeat. It's energetic. And then we got to get in the studio with Dan Huff. So oh, the legend. The <laughs> I mean, what, said, what legend, more can legend. you ask for? You know, <laughs> he really brought us out in that song. Oh, yeah. So it's awesome. I love the flavor of beer up too as well. Which okay. I had in this cup right here too, which is great. But uh, I've been doing that a little bit like at, at the bars out on Broadway too. Beer up and whiskey up, whatever. Beer, beer up, song. Yeah, that's any right. alcohol. But uh, you always know, toasting. I've never seen a city toast as much as Nashville. Oh, oh yeah, it's toasting out there all too, the time. For writers' rounds or whatever. <laughs> drinks up, drinks up in Nashville, Tennessee. Let's. I love it too. It's a great story. Let's let's talk about beer up. Yeah, yeah. man, that was our first song. You know, that was our. Uh, first song that we released to all the DSPs and, and streaming platforms and uh, it was kind of the same thing as about damn time we just want people to realize that Neon Union is all, all about, about all about having fun man we want everybody's every, welcome yeah everybody's we, we want every show to be a party too I mean that's kind of what we what do you go to a show for to hear good music and to have a good time right? Right. So, right so as far as 23 goes I know it's I say first quarters here we're almost you know springtime but I feel like here but <laughs> getting ready for yeah, you know, April, May coming up, March, halfway over to 
and all these things are kind of coming together right now. Talk about 2023, some of the goals. I know new music's got to be involved. New music's oh, yeah. coming, man. We've had a song coming out this month called American Dirt. And, Ooh, uh, got an EP in the summer. Yep. Five song EP coming out. Yep, called Double Wide Castle Sessions. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, then we're, then we're looking towards the full-length album. So lots of music this year. We're pounding the music. Uh, we've got, like, a bunch of festivals this summer. Uh, we got three shows coming up with Colt Ford. A couple with Scotty McCreary, Hardy. So we're staying busy and excited. Come to a show. That's exactly. what we always say. You got to come to a Neon Union show. Exactly. So we got to do that. So that's, uh, you get with so many shows. We got to come to here. I love doing that. Y'all get out to Texas, my neck of the woods. Texas, love we'll the party Texas, down there. Yeah. They're Houston down there. Oh, okay. yeah, 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 man. They're down Cold yeah. Beaumont. But yeah. I get about an hour west of Houston. Okay. But anytime you get there, we the fans walk out. We and played at uh, Moe's place in yeah. Katy. Yeah, 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 right outside of Houston. So, so we've done that. Well, yeah, we get back down there. We'll hit you I'll up. Hit up we, we love Texas. We just got <laughs> exactly. back from Texas on from Sunday. Texas. We were actually playing in Durant, Oklahoma, mm-hmm. but we were flying out of Dallas. So. Speaking of that, too, talk about the grind, man, because this industry, they say 10-year town for some, it's more – uh, but the grind that goes into it, too, everybody looking for the break. So much talent in this city. What advice would y'all give to new artists getting into it? 10% talent, 90% hard work. That's that's what it'll do. Because, yep. you know, there's a lot of people that are super talented, but they're like, they feel like they're too good to put in that work. And that's that's what that's when they get left behind and they wonder why. Oh, what's this guy doing? Because you're not working hard enough. Yeah, we, you know, one, of, <laughs> one of my favorite things that I like to say is you never make it. You know what I'm saying? People are like, oh, you made it. No, you never make it. You make it a career. You got to do this the rest of your life if you want to do it. Can't get comfortable. Yeah, no, no getting comfortable. And we've spent we've spent a whole year on the road. I think we've probably been 200 and something days gone from home. So uh, get ready to leave that suitcase laying in your <laughs> kitchen floor when you get home or exactly. laundry room floor. <laughs> All right, let's talk stages as far as stepping on you guys' here to the 200 shows. I mean, just traveling and grinding put in the work is there a stage you haven't stepped on yet you're looking forward to in the future absolutely there's two two big ones i think that we both agree on red rocks Rocks. (laughs) rhyming and red rocks we've done the grand Ole opry which is an honor we Uh played there about four times we love the opry uh but we we do still have some bucket listers for sure (laughs) sure. we did get to do the troubadour in la too where uh you know elton john and well many others got their start so that was awesome well i gotta throw a little sports talk in because i do sports and music here so i went to the sec tournament Alabama A&M championship game, uh, 18, 19,000 strong Sunday at, at Bridgestone, too. Alabama's a good shot. Are y'all college basketball fans? Do you follow March Madness? Oh, yeah. Any kind? Absolutely. Go Wolfpack. <laughs> I'm from the Carolinas, man. You know, Duke and Carolina got to lose. That's all yes. I care about. You know? uh, I'm a Wolfpack fan. I went to NC State, so uh, we got a pretty good team this year. We'll see how the tournament goes. Yeah. It's unpredictable. Yeah. Yeah. So you follow? I mean, I'm not that big of a sports guy. Uh, I like boxing and I okay. like basketball too. Right. But uh, if I go to basketball, it'd be, it'd be it'd have to be UM. You know? I was raised in Miami too. So Miami. I, gotta, right. I gotta support that. Yeah. Is there an NBA team you root for? The Heat. The Heat. Man. Yeah. 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 For me, I mean, <laughs> I'd much rather watch football. And I'd much rather play golf. So I mean, you know. But hey, the March yeah, Madness, baby. Yeah, March Madness. I love it. <laughs> we gotta get on the draft team. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> All right. A couple of rapid fire. We'll do just a couple more favorite eating spots in Nashville. Oh man, I can already name a couple. Uh, Brick Tops, Stony River, Jonathan's, Jonathan's. Jonathan's. Yeah, oh, man. man, you gotta go to Jonathan's. Two for ones every day That's from right. three to seven. All day on Saturday. Two for one pizzas on Tuesday. Tuesdays. Yeah. <laughs> Topping, toppings on pizza. What do you like? Oh man, pepperoni and meat. All the meat. meat. All the meat. I like yeah. the pepperoni, meat, and veggies too. Just put it all supreme. Yeah, right? it <laughs> no onions. Give me all the peppers. I'll take man. everything except for black olives. Yeah. <laughs> I love it, man. Well, I'll tell you what, it's about damn time. Uh, like I said, just early in their career, too, as well, forming the group. They're already making headway. Neon Union, check them out on social media out there, too, as well. And definitely uh, miss any interviews today. They're all archived at the uh, sportsguyspodcast.com. And, of course, uh, two guys look out for for the future. Future country music is bright. Check us out. Neon <laughs> Union. Hey, check us out. And y'all go follow these guys. Yeah, They're awesome. Yeah. Appreciate you guys. Oh, man, so thank you for having, you for having us. us. Looking yeah. forward to it in the future. Coming yeah. up, more to come here live at CRS 2023. Woo! The Omni Hotel. Uh, I don't know who's walking through the curtain next. You'll find out. Stay tuned for more. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs>